Snapdragon 8 Gen 6 is one of those chip upgrades that honestly feels like a big moment for the smartphone world. And the funny thing? It's not even the super flagship chip. It's meant for phones around $550. But when you hear what this thing is packing inside, you'll start wondering if we even need $1,000 phones anymore. So let's talk about what makes this chip special in very simple English, because the details are honestly mind-blowing. First off, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 6 is built on TSMC's new 2 nanometer process. Now, you might hear 2 nanometers and think, okay, cool, but what does that even mean? Here's the easiest way to understand it. The smaller the number, the more tiny transistors they can pack into one chip. And the more transistors you have, the more power you can squeeze out without turning your phone into a heater or draining the battery like crazy. So moving from 3 nanometers to 2 nanometers is like upgrading from a normal highway to a multi-lane super expressway. Everything moves faster, smoother, and uses less energy. That's the level of efficiency we're talking about here. Now, the crazy part. Qualcomm is putting the Orion CPU, the same technology used in their top-of-the-top -the -top Snapdragon 8 Elite chips, right into this mid-range Snapdragon 8 Gen 6, and they're giving it a 2 plus 3 plus 3 core layout. Let me break that down. Two high-power cores for heavy stuff like gaming, editing videos, big apps. Three mid-cores for normal everyday stuff like Instagram, multitasking, browsing and three efficiency cores for background tasks and saving battery. This setup basically makes your phone feel fast all the time without killing the battery. The big shocker here is that Qualcomm usually keeps the best CPU designs for their most expensive flagship chips, but now they're sharing that tech with a chip meant for more affordable phones. That's a huge shift. Now, not everything is 100% flagship level. Let's be honest, the GPU, the graphics engine, is toned down a little, but it's actually a smart move. Because the CPU is still very powerful, and on a small chip running at 2 nanometers, keeping the GPU slightly less extreme helps reduce heat, keeps gaming smoother over long sessions, and extends battery life. Most people don't even need the ultra max GPU in daily life unless they're hardcore gamers. So Qualcomm is saving costs and heat here, but still keeping the performance where it matters. Now let's talk about price, because this is a big deal. This chip will appear in phones around 4,000 CNY, which is about $550. This price range is where the magic is happening in the smartphone world right now. It's the place where you get better value, better battery, strong performance, great cameras, without paying flagship level cash. And now, with 2 nanometer tech and Orion CPU performance, this mid-range could easily start punching way above its weight. Imagine buying a phone at this price and getting flagship-like speed, flagship-like efficiency, flagship-like AI features, and probably better battery life than some actual flagships. That's exactly what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 6 is aiming for. Now, let's compare it to what we had before, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, so you actually understand the jump. The Gen 5 chip already had a strong Orion CPU. It had two prime cores running at 3.8 GHz, six performance cores at 3.32 GHz, super strong AI performance, and a huge jump over the Gen 3 chip. It was already giving a 36% CPU boost and 46% AI boost. So think about that. Gen 5 was already a monster of a chip. Now, moving that to a 2 nanometer design with an improved Orion setup and optimized thermals, that's not a small improvement, that's a major evolution. We're entering a new era where mid-range phones are starting to feel like last year's flagships, or even better. And here's what this means for your real-life experience. You'll open apps instantly, your games will run smoother, your phone won't get hot as easily. Your battery will last longer through the day, your photos and videos will process faster, and AI features like voice typing, translation, and photo editing will be quicker and more accurate. And overall, your phone will just feel fast. No lag, no delay, no quick pause when switching apps. This is what 2 nanometer and Orion are designed to give you. Now here's the most interesting part. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 6 is not trying to beat the top-tier flagship chips. That's left for the 8 Elite series. 
What it is trying to do is destroy the competition in the mid-range and push more users into that price category. And honestly, this might even push companies like Samsung, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo to release phones that feel ultra-premium without the ultra-premium price. If the performance really matches the hype, we might actually reach a point where paying $1,000 for a smartphone starts to feel unnecessary for most users, because the mid-range will simply be good enough, or even better. So yeah, Snapdragon 8 Gen 6 is not just another yearly refresh. It's a sign that smartphone processors are entering a new level, a level where advanced features aren't hidden behind high price tags anymore. It's a big shift, and I honestly can't wait to see the first phones that launch with this chip.